Risotto is typical of the northern regions of the country, where it's really easy to see rice fields outside the cities. The winters there are colder than the rest of the country, and risotto is the perfect meal to warm a little bit. You can find risotto with vegetables, risotto with cheese, risotto with seafood also. But today we are going to do a classic, risotto alla milanese, typical from Milano. For first, as usual, the ingredients. Rice, an Italian one, like Carnaroli, Arborio or Roma. Onion, butter, saffron and a pot of hot broth. And now, let's start. Let's cut the onion with the help of a mincing knife as fine as we can. Then, in a warm pan, let's put the butter and a spoon of olive oil. Once melt, let's drop the onions. This phase is really important. We need to give the onion enough time to become soft. So we put a low flame, we cover and let it go 4 or 5 minutes. After that, we put high flame again and we add the rice. Now mix and wait for the rice to be hot. You can test with your hand after 1 minute or 2. It's now time for the broth. Let's drop two or three ladles at a time, then wait some minutes. Once dried, again two or three ladles. After a couple of cycles like this, a glass of white wine. As usual, after the wine, it's really important to wait that all the alcohol evaporates. So, wait until you don't smell wine anymore. Now it's time for the color, so, rose again with the addition of saffron. Mix, mix and mix, until the saffron colors all the rice. At this moment, all we need is to complete the cooking, keep in adding two or three ladles of broth at a time, and then wait for it to dry. From the beginning, it would take about 20 minutes. You can try tasting some grain. Once cooked, it's time for mantecatura. So turn off the fire, add butter and parmigiano cheese. Then mix energically and wait a couple of minutes before serving it. I'm sure it will be great. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. Pot from the top.